Um, it was, I think, it, it wasn't really like we, we didn't even have an argument. Uh, the issue was you came up to me, um, uh, told me you didn't want certain people in your studio, and I went off with certain people in my studio. I'm, I don't want to mention names. I don't remember that part. Mm. You, not me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about me. You were telling me, T, I don't think I like your uh, your young man here and stuff like that because of reasons, this, this and that. Yeah. So, that, so, I remember that. Yeah, so I, I went off with them <clears throat> and I started uh, making up some things with them. Okay, to be honest, now that you're here, um, you know, it's, it's, it's therapeutic that we talk about this, you know, I feel like getting everything off the chest. What I felt at the time, what I felt at the time was, I felt when I was not around, there were so many things that were happening behind my back that mm -hmm. um, when I kind of found out and I was like, you know what, this was, instead of taking me 10 steps forward, it was taking me 20 steps behind and um, it really upset me. You know, let, let me just finish. Um, for me, loyalty was everything. I mean, if, if I entrust somebody, like if I leave my stuff here, say, listen, I leave the studio in your hands, you know, do what you have to do. And this is the first time I'm going to talk about this. I leave the studio in your hands and say, listen, guys, do what you have to do. I've got other things that I'm attending to. Then I come back. Then I feel like things were not happening the way they're supposed to. And I'm supposed to pay rent for the studio. And I can't because I was not there. The people that I feel like I've left there have not done what they're supposed to have done. And for me, that's the reason why I just, I went into overdrive and I just lost it, you know, because I feel like if, if, if there's supposed to be loyalty and that loyalty is not there, I just feel like, you know, if, if, if you can do this to me now, you know, what would happen if we had maybe progressed so much, you know? So for me, that, that really pissed me off. And, I, you know, and, and that's why I say, you know what, I don't want to do anything with you guys. And, you know, let's just go separate ways. And I know I might have overreacted, but that's how I felt at the time. And I understand. But of course, after some time, I mean, I'm not one to hold anything inside. You know, it's not like I held it forever. You know, after, after some time, it's like, you know, whatever happened, happened. And, you know, and uh, I think we briefly talked about it. And mm -hmm. you and I, we still continue to kind of talk. And, you know, you still, until now, you're mm -hmm. one of the people that still, you check up on me. Like, if we, we haven't spoken for like three months, we say, yeah, okay, but what are you you know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, and that's how it's, but for me, just, you knowing that's, that's what was happening with me. And that's what really pissed me off at the time.